The Remus 1.5x anamorphic lenses sparked the interest of a lot of filmmakers. These lenses offer a vintage inspired look and are budget friendly. The Blazar Remus series consists of three focal lengths. 45mm T2, 65mm T2 and 100mm T2.8. All of these lenses are designed to cover full frame sensors. If you bought the full set, you could see that the case had an extra hole for an upcoming lens. The 35mm is a new addition for Super 45 shooters. The 35mm on S35 will roughly have the same field of view as the 45mm on full frame cameras. This means it can be a good match for Red Komodo or Sony FX30. But normally it should not be used on a full frame camera because of a massive vignetting. As I have the full set of full frame lenses, I should not care to use this lens. But the 35mm features a faster aperture of T1.6 and a new neutral flare option. So I need to see what happens if you use the lens on a full frame camera. To adapt it, I am using the Mofage Poco PL adapter with internal filters. I will review this adapter soon, so subscribe if you want to know more. You can see a massive vignetting, but also a strong barrel distortion on the side of the frame. So after some research, I found a way to use this lens on a full frame camera without cropping the footage. All you need to do is to use the lens distortion effect in Premiere Pro to correct the footage. The before and after is really impressive. Neutral flares will take the color of the light source. By using a front diopter, you can use the lens as a macro lens and get some really nice bokeh. For me, it's a weird choice to make this S35 lens part of the full frame lens series. It should be the first of a new series aimed at S35. And maybe this is the plan. 
Blazar should release new anamorphic lenses very soon, so I hope to have the chance to review the newcomers. Blazarinus, lenses, say the